Glasgow's transport system and city centre need a radical overhaul to reconnect communities and improve its public spaces. That's according to an expert report which could pave the way for the biggest change to Glasgow's cityscape for half a century. Here's our transport correspondent, David Henderson. It's Scotland's biggest city and home to half a million people. But for many who live and work in Glasgow, it's not an easy place to get around. In the Knightswood district in the western suburbs, some residents complain bus routes to and from the city centre have been cut time and again. There's guys here, uh, they're not that fit and they can't get go to town anymore because the bus did go by there. The bus stops there and there, they're all been taken away and all the people at my age would be depending on it, you know because we don't drive anymore. And the decline of Glasgow's bus services can be seen here on the fast link. £40 million of public money has been spent creating a high quality bus route and what's been billed as a credible alternative to taking the car. The only problem is a lack of buses. Today, a call for action by the Glasgow Connectivity Commission, a group headed up by Edinburgh's former traffic supremo. It says the whole transport network would improve if priorities are changed in the city centre, so pedestrians and public transport are put before cars. We've got an average car occupancy of 1.1 per vehicle. We're moving fresh air and metal boxes rather than moving people. So from a given bit of road space, we can move 10 times as many people by bus than we can by car. We can move 10 times as many people by bike than we can by car. And we can move 10 times more people on foot than we can by car. Campaigners warn this action plan can only work if bus operators are brought under greater public control. So they have to maintain routes to all parts of the city. They don't really care about the people in Glasgow and getting them from A to B, so they cut the unprofitable routes and we've lost loads of routes across the city over the last few years. And that's why bus patronage in the west of Scotland is in freefall. You know, people aren't travelling on the bus because the bus routes just aren't there anymore. With bus use in Glasgow falling faster than anywhere in the UK, this report is timely. But drivers may not want to leave their cars at home until bus services improve. David Henderson, Reporting Scotland.